Hi, this is Anita from Reluctant Low Carb Life. If any of you have been out there listening to me for a while, you know that a Reluctant Low Carb Life, we basically believe in three basic things. One is we believe in eating fresh foods. That we believe in going back to the time when we didn't have all this multi-processed food, we had fresh foods. And yes, you know, part of that is eating more low carb than you would normally eat. But we believe in eating a low carb, but also not just a low carb, but also a fresh lifestyle with all, without all this multi processed foods. Second of all is eating foods that help give you, help you feel full or they give you what's known as satiety. In other words, if you eat foods that are fresh, those foods will help you feel full longer and you won't tend to overeat as much. The other part of the trifecta of our health is our fitness. It's really the three basic things. That it's basically about fresh foods, eating foods that help you feel full longer, and our fitness. That's why we're also great believers in having a plan. If you have some type of plan, then it really helps you, I believe, to be able to move forward. When you watch something like the Olympics and you see these athletes that are doing these tremendous feats and who have been able to you know, accomplish such great things, not one of them was able to do it without a plan. They had an exercise plan, they had a fitness plan, they had an eating plan, they had all that plan. Yes, they had coaches, they had people helping them, but you know, at the same time, they really had a plan to decide on uh, to help them with their exercise. I found this out very clearly with my own experience. I recently started swimming. I found a pool near my house that I was able to use and I've been really excited and been able to get back in the water. Swimming, by the way, is a great exercise. The first time when I went in, I got in and I swam. I, I did my strokes and just swam back and forth. Didn't really have a plan in mind. I thought I'll swim about this amount of time or until I get you know tired or, or, or whatever else and then I'll stop. So I kind of went in and I just sort of swam and it felt good. I'm back in the water, I'm swimming. I did that for a couple times and I thought, you know, if I'm really going to make swimming stick and if swimming is going to become one of my exercises, I got to have a plan. And having been before in some master swimming classes, I knew that you, you needed to break up your training, do different types of training that you really needed to have a plan. If you had a plan while you were swimming, it made the time go so much faster than if you just got on the pool and just swam. So I found an app, which is called my Swim Pro. And I've talked about this app before here on my channel. And my Swim app, basically, it helps me to, um, give me, gives me a plan, puts a plan on my iPhone. And then I have it also printed out. So I'm in the pool. I have a plan on, that's on my phone and also printed out. And I basically follow the plan every day on what I'm supposed to do. I have found that this has really helped me. Not only has it helped me get in the pool more, it's also helped the time go faster and it's ensured that I've gotten all the distance done. Partly because of the fact that I have a plan. I'm going to get in there, I'm going to finish this, and I'm going to get it done. If I don't have that plan in front of me, chances are I would not swim as long or as fast as I'm doing now. That's because of plan and especially an exercise plan or whether it's a food plan or whatever kind of plan it is in your life, it will give you direction and it will help give you focus. And most of us in our lives, we need both of those things. We need some direction and we need some focus. It will give us some motivation and accountability. Even though for me, it's just this app on my phone, it kind of keeps me accountable because if I don't swim enough in a week, it will say, you did not swim four times this week, which is kind of my goal for swimming. You missed a time. And so it really helps to keep me more accountable than I would be without it. It helps me to be able to set goals. I'm setting some realistic goals because the app I know exactly knows what time I swim. It helps me set goals to be able to go faster. And it's helping me to be able to start to achieve those goals. It's allowing me to, to um, have some progress tracking. I'm tracking my progress. Every single day I can see what I'm doing. Because I'm slowly building up, it's helping me with 
injury prevention. And that's one of the clues with anything you want to do. Whether it's you, you know, want to start biking, you want to start swimming, you want to start walking, you want to start running, whatever it is, you start doing it slowly and you build up and you build upon it. And then you can, it can help you with injury prevention. It can give you some, it gives me some variety and engagement. I really love the fact that it gives me some variety, that every day is not the same in the pool. I'm not doing the same thing every day. I actually have some variety going on. There's different things that I'm doing. There's different training plans I'm doing. So it kind of keeps me motivated and keeps me excited and keeps me going. It um, you know, helps me with my efficiency that, you know, when you have a plan, you don't think about it. Like, it's kind of like, I don't, I get up in the morning, I download, you know, onto my, to my watch exactly which, which workout I'm going to do. I get to the pool, I do it. So it's very efficient. I don't have to sit there and think about it. I'm not sitting at the side of the pool thinking about, hmm, what do I need to do today? Also, you know, a plan should be able to be adaptable. You should be able to adapt it. And, you know, I, I do, I adapt the plan. If I'm, if a couple of days I'm like, oh, I'm really kind of in a hurry. I'm only going to be able to swim this much. I do that. I adapt the plan for it. But it's given me this sense of consistency. And it's also, I believe, psychologically, it's helped me to become better. You know, so all of these are reasons why, you know, a plan is so important. You know, a lot of times we don't think about the, the reasons why a plan is important, but a plan is extremely important in anything you're going to do. Going back again to the Olympics and the Olympic athletes that I, um, you know, that maybe some of you have also been watching some of them or had watched some of them for the Paris Olympics during the summertime. It's so great to see what they've been able to accomplish. And you have to be in awe of them and all they've been able to accomplish. But I can guarantee not one of them was able to accomplish what they accomplished without a plan. You know, if you don't have a plan, then it's just sort of like you're just sort of like floating through through life and trying to decide, you know, what am I going to do now? But if you have that plan, that plan will help you to be able to really be able to move forward. The thing about progress with things like fitness or health or, um, you know, anything you do is that it's a slow progress. And this is, this is what really makes it the hardest thing about whether it's losing weight, whether it's getting fit, whether it's eating better. It's really quite a slow process. We, as people, we want to have a fast process. We want everything to be quick. We want everything to be, you know, fast. We want to be out there. We want to say, oh, you know, we want this to be quick and fast. And, you know, that's why we like to go through the drive throughs because it's quick and fast. We think it's, it's that we actually somehow think it's quicker for us to be able to get in our car, drive 15 minutes down the street, go through a McDonald's drive through and maybe even bring the food home than it is for us to cook the food ourselves. Truth is, probably could have cooked the meal within the same amount of time that we spent getting in the car, going through the drive through and coming home with it. But we like to somehow we see that as a quicker option than eating or cooking fresh foods. So we as people, I think we're geared a lot of times so we want to have quick results, fast results. We don't want to have the slow results. But the truth of the matter is, is that whether it's with fitness, whether it's with health, it's like everyday consistency. It's about us, you know, getting out, getting up, getting into the pool. And that's why whatever app you can use, whatever works for you, you know, find something that works for you that will get you out there, that will keep you accountable, that will have a plan for you. And if it means you need to join like some type of group, like, like the group which I've, you know, joined my, my um, you know, my swim pro with this app that I've joined, if it means that you need to you know, join something like that, do that. If it means you need to be part of something like a challenge where you get challenged to be able to walk so far every day, do that. Have something that keeps you accountable, something that keeps you moving, and something that keeps you going. And if you can do that, then you will be able to look back in a year from now and see the progress that you've made. You know, and this is really the fact of it all, that if you take the time now today and you say, okay, I'm going to make a plan, I'm going to stick to that plan, whatever that plan's going to be, 
anything to do with this trifecta of health. Either it's going to start eating fresh food at least, you know, three or four times a week. I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to, you know, make sure I eat foods that help me feel full. I'm going to cut some of the junk food out of my life. And if any of you that have been listening to me, I don't advocate that you cut it all out. We live in this world that's full of you know, junk food. Sometimes you're probably going to have junk food, but make sure that it's 10% of the time versus 90% of the time. And get on some type of plan for your fitness that you can be able to stick to. And if you do that, we'll all look back from a year from now and realize that we are far better off than we would have been without that plan. If you'd like to be able to read more about this, I have a blog written, Dedicated Exercise Plan, Lessons from Planning. So if you'd like to be able to read more, we'll put a description that you'll be able to link and be able to go to the blog and be able to read it. We hope that you've enjoyed this podcast. If so, give us a thumbs up, like us, join us. We'd love to have you be part of us. The thing about me is I'm together with you on this journey. You know, I really am together with you on this journey of better health. So if you want to join with me and be together with me on this journey, let's join together and live a healthier, happier life. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. We truly do appreciate you.